In this video, I will show you my best-selling do-it-yourself generator. It has a 1200 watt inverter with over 1500 watt hours of battery pack. It will power any device up to 1200 watts. It will power a CPAP with, a, with heated water over 16 hours nonstop. Most CPAP generators state they will power a CPAP for three to seven days without recharging. Their battery packs are usually around three to 400 watts. That means they will run a CPAP on the lowest setting for at least that number of days without charging and you cannot use water. The generators I build can run on the highest setting with heated water for over 16 hours. Remember, this generator has over 1,500 watt hours of power. To charge all your all you need is a solar panel or a house charger. Now on to the video. And by the way, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and then hit the bell uh, bells for notifications as to when I put out a new video. Thank you. Okay, the first thing I did was cut all the holes for my switches, main power switch, my USB port, my voltage meter, my inverter power, fan, lights, lights on the front, your power outlets, your solar con uh, charger, two vents, and your household charger. And then a vent on your other end. I cut all those uh, before and then uh, I went ahead and installed them. I've already cut all the wires uh, to length for everything that I need. Your switches, uh, I wired up the lights. These are Wago connectors. They're very great. They're really nice to use. Uh, I've got four of them in here. Uh, two for the fans and two for the lights. Uh, this is for the solar uh, charger. This is for your power connector. And then I already have these cut and ready to put on the bus bars for the house charger. And I've already cut all the blocks and placed them in the proper space around the edges so that when the shelf goes in here, it will all fit. Then I get everything out of the way, and then I place the battery in. The battery is a 1500 and 1517 watt hour battery, 24 volt. Uh, I made it out of 7S21P, which means seven batteries in series and 21 in parallel, and I have a 50 amp BMS on it. And I've put all that up here. I've already mounted one of my breakers and bus bar and the uh, buck converter. You know, this will take it from 24 volts to 12 volts. And then I just raise all this up. And as you can see, that fits pretty snug in there. Then I start running my wires. I've marked these already, the main breaker. So this one will slide through here this is my other side of the main breaker and this end goes to the fuse block here so I have to feed this through again For these, you have to watch buying Chinese parts. Uh, they don't always know what positive and negative are. Uh, I checked these before I installed it, and I found that 
they were the wires were reversed so the black one is actually supposed to be red and the red one is actually supposed to be black so one's positive one's negative they're just totally screwed up I've installed the buck converter to go from 24 to 12 volts with a 20 amp fuse. There's a fuse right there. And then I connected it to the bus bar. Okay, I've connected the positive, all the positives to the negatives. Uh, this bus bar is basically done. That's all I'm going to add on it right now. Uh, it does have room for five more expansions, or actually is quite a few more expansions if you wanted. But now, for right now, I'm going to close it up. Okay, a minute ago I uh, put the caps on here, but then I realized I didn't have my lights hooked up because I... I don't want the lights hooked to the fuse panel. Uh, I want it to be able to turn it on anytime you need it. So I had to connect the lights to here. So now I'm going to put the caps back on. And there they are. Fit good. I also had to shift this over because this was too close to this. So now it's all taken care of. This is where the main power is going to go into the battery. I won't plug that in until we're totally done. Okay, these are to the solar charge controller. This is my main power plug. Goes into the inverter. This is to the buck converter, which will go into the uh, fuse panel. That way, you know, it goes from 24 to 12 volts. And then this is the fuse for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the rest of it. Okay, this is the uh, shelf that I cut these pieces, blocks of wood to set this shelf on. And I have cutouts in the corners for all the wiring. Okay, now I'm going to mount all my components. Uh, I did forget something uh, on this because you don't ever want to set anything that might hit the battery. So you want to cut a piece of styrofoam to fit on here. And that fits perfect on there. And that comes up even with the uh, brackets. So it's totally secured but you don't want screws or anything to go into your battery I have already drilled my holes for my inverter my solar charge controller and my fuse block so now I'm going to go ahead and connect those okay it's time for the fun part all these wires that are loose are going to have to be fed up through the tray, the shelf that this sets on. So, here we go. Make sure all the wires are out of the way. The solar charge controller to the battery, which is on this side. The negative is the lower one. So you feed that through there and the positive through there.
Then this is for the solar charger, the solar panels, and up here, it's positive and negative. The negative is the lower one. So the lower one goes here. And the positive one goes there. Now, this gets hooked up to the fuse block. So on the fuse block, the positive is the lower one. So you feed it through and feed it through the negative. And then same thing here. Feed it through the negative. Okay, then we're going to cut it, cut the wires, and add connectors. Make sure and leave plenty of slack inside. When you have super thin wire, you may want to double or even quadruple it up. This one I'm gonna fold four times because I don't have a red connector. All I have is blue and yellow right now. So I will double this up or fold it over twice. <laughs> Okay, now that all the wires are connected, I just remembered something that I forgot a step before I put this in. I needed to run the uh, cable wires up to the inverter from the uh, power strip. So now I'm going to have to do that. Okay, I've got the cables run. I had to hook them to the bus bar down there. And there's positive and negative. And now we're going to hook up the solar charge controller. Okay. Now we're going to hook up our thermostat for our fans. I've already made up the leads for it.
you hook the positive to the first set. Then you hook a jumper from the second to the third. And then you have a jumper here from the positive, or the negative, rather. And you have to flatten this out also. Then what I've done, I put sticky tape on the back, peel that off. The next thing I want to do is make the connector for the uh, switch for the uh, inverter. Uh, it comes with a 16 foot long cord, which it's way too long for my needs to go into this box. So I make my own. I cut one end off. And then I figure out where you're going to get. And the other cord actually a little more. You're going to get over this corner. You want to get over this corner. See? You can break it down. See? You can break it down. And work on the other side. You want to get over this corner? Then 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 you want to get over this corner? Away. And that time they did. So now we have a good connector. Once you get that piece, this piece made. You just want to plug it in up here and plug it in down here. Now we're going to connect our positive and negative. You want to add a zip tie. I put as many zip ties as I need on here. Uh, sometimes I had to do a little overkill, but it's better to have too many than too few. You know, look inside. Connect, you know, check all your connections and then reach in and make your connection here and everything is connected next thing we want to do is populate our fuses okay it's time now to turn it on turn the power on so turn the power on, 12 volts come on, check the lights, both lights come on, USB comes on, now what we're going to do is plug in a fan, and then turn it on. And there it works. So everything works on it. Everything looks good. Okay, it's about time to weigh it, see how much it weighs. Thirty seven point nine pounds. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, just please hit the subscribe button and like and then uh, hit the bells for notifications as to when I make my next video. Thanks for watching.